week of me working out. The hardest part is getting started. Welcome to the channel. We are doing a bit of PT as you can see. Do you want to sit down? Go beba. Sit yourself down. Good job. Que paso mi amor? You want to stand up again? Up and up and up. Go Ale. Her in her big long dress. We're trying to kill two birds with one stone. I need to record this intro to this self-care video. This is a series that I have created. I had to replace my batteries, you guys. And I was talking to you guys. So I'm going to be showing you my workouts. I'm talking about why I've created this workout for me. Why it's only seven minutes and why I've created it for myself. How I plan to keep up with my workouts. And basically, hopefully, motivate you guys to keep yourselves moving. Us mommies, we need to take care of ourselves. So if you guys are new to this channel, I'm Jackie G. This is my daughter, Alexandrea. She is three. She's special needs. And basically, I just make videos on our lifestyle, a special needs life, the ups, the downs, and all around. So if you guys are interested, hit that subscribe button and uh, let's get into it. All the way up. All the way up. Push up. Push up. Push up. Whoa! If you guys are new here, we've been working on standing for a very long time. And again, I'm trying to do this because Ale has a crazy schedule and I know that I have to put this video out for you guys. Hashtag mom luck. I actually filmed a full week of me working out. I look awkward, but you're welcome. I just put her down. Before I show you my actual workout, I wanted to give you a brief overview of my fitness lifestyle. Ever since I can remember, maybe 12, maybe a little bit earlier. My parents got me into karate and ever since then, I have been doing it up with working out, all types of workouts. I've been following a lot of fitness trainers. Sometimes it's an off and on kind of a thing, depending on where my life is at. That's basically what I wanted to talk about. Last year, when Ale started her intermediate unit, our schedules changed. Before, therapies used to start at 12. Well, which gave me a lot of time for me to just get some type of workout in and also give her a little bit of PT in the morning before our actual therapy started. So it was really good in that way. But when our intermediate unit started, there was more therapies and they started earlier. That left me no room for any type of workout. It did affect us. I know for her, she has regressed. I'll talk about it in another video. I have definitely felt it in the way that I'm more sluggish and I became lazy. And what I mean is that I started to accept and be comfortable with the idea that I wasn't able to get a workout in the morning. So that was that. Honestly, just because I can't get a workout in the morning doesn't mean that I can't get a workout in between her therapies or in the evenings. Nowadays, I just try to schedule all of my days out hour by hour. She's a priority. So I obviously put down her stuff. And then where I see a little free time in my day is where I schedule myself out for a workout or whatever I want to do for myself. I highly recommend you guys to keep yourselves organized however you want plan out things and schedule yourselves because otherwise you may say you're going to do something and then you end up not doing it. Another key thing is to be disciplined about your, your schedules. Again, guys, I understand. I mean, I completely understand that we have a lot of things going on in our child's lives, in our child's care. But that does not mean that we should forget about ourselves. We need to think about ourselves as well. And it's not being selfish. It's actually caring about what God has gifted us, our temple, to nourish it, to cultivate it, to do what we can for ourselves. That way we can be there for our loved ones. So anyway, with that being said, let's jump right in to my workout. Can you say all done? I'll take you out, mama. I'm just going to get a workout in while we wait for your next therapy. I'm gonna go ahead and do this workout. I know I'm gonna look really awkward. I went ahead and changed into my yoga pants and I just kept my top just because I'm gonna have therapy after this, even though I'm gonna be sweaty, whatever. All right, so this workout starts out with some yoga stretches just to make sure that I don't pull on myself. The actual seven minute workout is a high intensity interval training workout, meaning it's non-stop and I just hit it hard. It is a full body workout, but the main parts that it's hitting is abs and cardio. First off, I start out with some Zumba, just something fun to warm up. And then I go into some kickboxing, burpees, alternating arm planks, which are the hardest for me and I'm dying at this point. Some bridges, bicycle abs, and finish it off with some side dips. I dedicate one minute to each workout and I leave four seconds just to set myself up for the next workout. The main key is to push as hard as possible throughout the whole workout and be mindful of my form. Okay, Alexa, pause. That was seven minutes in total non-stop. Well, I did stop in between just because like I was dying. I really just tried to be mindful of how much break I took. Like I took like maybe a couple second break, but I kept on at it. I am, 
I need a drink. Plus, my battery is about to run out. I still have a three minute cooldown, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the batteries and then do my three minute cooldown. <laughs> Again, this is using one minute for each workout, but since I'm alternating legs, I'm making sure that I'm using 30 seconds for each leg within the one minute mark. In total, it's three workouts, three minutes. Whew, I am done, you guys. I just did my three minute leg workout, and the reason why I do my leg work out as leg workout as a cool down is because I don't like to disregard my legs. I am kind of subconscious about my legs. I always felt like they looked puny. I really like the abs and cardio workout, the seven minute workout, which I pretty much can stop right there. But with that, I know that I'm burning some calories as well as I really like it for the energy boost that it gives me. We have speech coming up soon. I'll be looking like a hot mess during therapy. Uh, oh well. Hey guys, what's up? Hello hair. <laughs> Kind of digging this crazy look today welcome to day two we just had vision about to do my seven minute workout of the day right before pt starts it's about to start in about 20 minutes so i have some time and thank god this workout is seven minutes because i gotta get it in so let's do this oh let me show you la mamacita we're gonna turn up the merengue and we're gonna get our our workout in okay ale yeah <laughs> one thing that i wanted to mention before i get started on this workout is that i really like to do my workouts in front of her when i started to do my workouts here i just realized that that really motivated her she would kind of try to imitate what i was doing i stopped doing my workouts for a while now i realized that she regressed she was having a hard time getting into sitting so i want to get back into my workouts in front of her i kept putting up the excuse that i had therapies really early i'm gonna leave that excuse we're not going to do that anymore. We're going to throw that excuse away and we're going to find time. Whether it's in between therapies or after therapies, like around four, we're going to do this regardless. I need to show my daughter that the way we get stronger, the way we get energized is by working out, putting in the work. That's what I'm going to do. Let's get into it. All right. Look at my crazy look. <laughs> up it's 11 20 i look crazy guys but um yeah i got my workout in for today my black calendar just told me that i have pt in 10 minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and drink some water try to dry myself off and get into it because i don't have time to take a shower i need to jump in to pt with her and i don't know if you guys can see her down there but <laughs> She's ready. It's now lunchtime and I'm getting myself a salad. I'm gonna add some nuts, which are walnuts. Yogurt. Mmm. 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 Yum. Very good. Good job. Okay, so I'm trying to do a couple things at once. Hey guys, welcome to the next day. I am gonna get started on my workout. Just getting Ale's hearing aids off, giving her a break with that. Just took off her feed. Let's do this workout. Don't mind the mess, I was running late. I wanna get my workout in before cleaning so that I can get my boost my energy. Girlfriend kept getting in my way. I got a phone call from the doctor, which reminded me I have to reschedule an appointment. Medical mom life. Got a boost of energy from my workout, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this mess. And then after that, we'll get her to do some PT. Hi, so we're currently on a 
doctor's appointment video call right now with pulmonary. Um, I just wanted to check out your equipment. Do you happen to have it with you or oh. around you that you can fit? Yes, I have it. Hello, new camera. Currently, it is 4.48. It is almost dinner time, you guys, and I have not gotten my workout in. It is pretty late in the day, but I know that I need to get this in. Plus, you guys are holding me accountable. Alright, so I just finished my workout. It was good actually. All that dreading for nothing because it was good. Let me just say the hardest part is getting started. Today's Thursday. I just put my W in for Thursday. That's how I track my my workouts. Good to go. So now it is 5.05, you guys. I'm telling you, the seven-minute workout is actually more than seven minutes, but I always tell myself just to trick my mind. Good morning, good morning, you guys. I didn't get a good night's sleep. I don't know what's going on with me, but I've just been tossing and turning at night. I don't know. I don't know. It's not even on it. It's just me. I'm gonna pray about it. So yeah, before I crash, I'm gonna get a workout in. I'm gonna do that right now before my day starts. Today is cleaning day. I have a laundry over here with little Ale over there. <laughs> and today's equipment change. perfectly but i am mindful that i do work out as hard as possible during the workout even if that means that i have to take fiddle breaks because it's a non-stop kind of workout i'm not about losing weight it's more about getting my energy up that's what it's about for me that is it this is the fifth day of the week i was planning to do seven days now that i think about it saturdays and sundays i don't want to work out i have enough things to do in my life for five days in a row that two days out of the week which are my weekends i get to relax the other day i was watching this girl do weight training and i was like oh my gosh again i kept coming up with the excuse that oh i'm not going to the gym anymore so i can't weight train that is just a lie that i'm telling myself because i can very well go downstairs in the basement get my weights because i got lots of weights downstairs two days out of the week i'm going to replace it with weight training yeah because i do want to keep two days of rest definitely i feel like i need it thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video comment below and let me know have you scheduled yourself out do you have a workout what is the hardest thing for you to get yourself to do but you know that you want this for your life comment below let us know and we'll talk to you on the next one